Hello, welcome to The One Show, Christine Blakely. And Adrian Childs. I'm with us tonight, the lovely Janet Ellis. Not The One Show's Birdman, where is he? David Lindo, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, The One Show's Birdman is David Lindo, you saw him earlier. Uh, he loves all birds, but the robin is one of his favourites. If you like robins too and would like to see more of them round your way this Christmas, here's David on how to get them flying in your direction. We know there are six million pairs of robin during the summer that live in Britain. But what we don't know is the amount of robins that actually are here during the winter. So to find out, we need to try to count them. To do this, we need to track them to our gardens, which is quite simple. All we've got to do is put food out for them and make them feel at home. What robins love are mealworms. Um, it gives them lots of protein. You can get them dried as well, but if you can't get mealworms, you can always opt for hard grated cheese. I've got a bit of cheddar and edam here just in case he has a preference. And there's always the trusty, crusty bits of bread. Brown bread is my favourite. All we need to do now is just wait and see if our robin turns up. Right, this is a bit where you need to be a bit patient because the birds don't come straight away. Sometimes it takes them a little bit of time to get used to the fact that the food is there and it's a safe environment for them to come down to eat. There's a few things in the tree there. There's a, about five or six house sparrows, and the fact that they've come is a good sign. Oh, there's a cat. It's the last thing we need in the garden. It's just made all the birds go. He's eating the cheese. Shoo. Hey, there's some movement up there. There he is. Ah, oh, there's our robin. This one looks particularly shy now. Hey, <laughs> he just landed on the bench. It's just actually, he's taking a bit of work. Brilliant. It just shows you that even after two hours, we can attract a robin to our garden. That's fantastic. No, I was just. Yeah, keep me on. We're just waiting to get all of your David. I'm just so disappointed he took his rope and jumper off. I was the size of his binoculars. I thought you'd have some great big ones. You know what happened? I actually sold my jumper on the way out here. Oh, right. You see. So, regardless, what do you need to buy then to bring the robins in? Well, the main thing is mealworms. I think that that's the most favourite food of the robin, as well as cheese. Yeah. Unsalted hard cheese, and a good thing to do is to put out bread as well. Just very simple. Keep it simple to start off with. I mean, obviously, as you get to know your birds and your gardens, you can actually add more food to that menu. Yeah. I love to see robins in the garden, though, and it's the, the British national bird, isn't it, since Absolutely. the 60s, which I didn't realise. Yeah. yeah. so we all tend to love them, although they can be quite aggressive birds. They're very territorial, especially this time of year. Um, the male and female both sing this time of year, and they sing all year round anyway, but then come Christmas time, that's when they start pairing up, just like us, boys and girls getting together. <laughs> What right. at Christmas? Yeah, it's a mistletoe. Oh, that's what I've been told anyway. <laughs> Janet, are you a robin fancier yourself? Well, we've got one I think is the same one that comes back to the garden. Would it be the same one? Well, it depends. I mean, mostly they live for maybe two years or so, maximum six years. So maybe, maybe... not entirely be. It's sort of very old robin. Yeah. But what what really me about robins is how many superstitions there are associated with them, That's and they're times. actually all bad. They're not good news at all for the. The we're going to rehabilitate here. the reputation of the robin. Now, we've got, there's an experiment <laughs> yeah. and there's details on their website, isn't there? Yeah, we're going to be conducting a survey, one show viewers to actually count the robins in their garden up until, you know, the week before Christmas or so. Okay. okay. Do join in with that. All yep. the detail on the website. David, thanks very much. Thank you, everybody. Thanks very much, Sarah.